So I recently rediscovered an old line art tutorial that I made, and I wasn't very happy with how unorganized it was when I watched it back, so I'm making a new one. And today I'm going to be introducing the new and improved guide to line work layers and vector lines in Paint Tool Sci. I literally can't do my line art in any other program because I feel like line work layers in Sci give me freedom when I'm doing line art. And I just want to inform people about them and spread the good word of them. So today we're going to be going over what line work layers are, how they work, and all the hotkeys necessary to use them with precision. First off, let's go over what raster and vector even mean. For those who may not know, raster images are what's created with your standard paint tool style layer. When you make a stroke with your brush tool, it creates an image, and that has a specific number of pixels. This is why when you warp your images or scale it, they get blurry because your program has to create new pixels to maintain its shape. Vector images, on the other hand, use mathematical calculations instead of pixels to form lines and shapes. This means that you can scale or warp vector images as much as you want and they won't ever get pixelated or blurry. This is the reason I use vector lines for most of my line art. I noticed most of my anatomy mistakes during the line art phase, so using vector lines allows me to edit it how I need to while maintaining the integrity of the lines. Now that we know what a vector layer is, let's learn how to make one. To create a line work layer in Sci, simply click the button next to your standard new layer button. This one has a picture of a pen on it. This will create a new type of layer that allows you to create your vector lines. Upon creating your new line work layer, you'll notice that you're given a set of new tools. Now let's go over what each of these tools does and how they all work. The most important ones are our three drawing tools. The line tool, the curve tool, and most importantly, the pen tool. The line tool and curve tools work by allowing you to place anchor points wherever you want your line to go. The pen tool works like your standard brush and creates anchor points along your brush strokes. We'll learn more about these points in a second. The eraser tool works how you would expect, but with some extra helpful settings. If you select the eraser to extend to intersections, it will only erase sections of a line that have crossed over other lines. This is very helpful for quickly erasing lines on overlapping parts. If you set it to entire stroke, it will, of course, erase the entire stroke. Moving on to the weight tool, this allows you to change the thickness of your entire line. When you scale a vector line, its thickness will scale with it. So this tool is helpful for maintaining consistent line thicknesses when scaling up or down separate parts of your line art. The color tool allows you to change the color of a line with a simple click. I haven't found much use for this tool other than creating wiring with the curve tool. And you can see here, I used it to create a streak in my character's hair. If you want to add color to lines though, raster clipping layers work just as well for adding color to your line art. The pressure tool is my favorite one and it allows us to change the thickness of our line wherever we want. The tool is very powerful for creating dynamic line art. Flat line art is generally pretty boring and the pressure tool allows us to create smooth, interesting line art easily. Move your pen or mouse to the right to increase the thickness and left to decrease the thickness. I like to make my lines thicker on intersecting or protruding lines and thinner in between angles. Psi 2 also gives us the ability to change the line density or the opacity of the line. I haven't found a use for this option yet, but it does give a pretty cool effect. There's also the select pen and the select erase pen. These work like the selection pen tools on your regular raster layers and they're useful for selecting those pesky pixels in the corner of your line art. Last but not least is the edit tool. This gives us all the options for editing and deforming our lines, and here is where you'll find a cheat sheet of all the hotkeys. I have the hotkeys memorized by now, but someone just starting out with line work layers will definitely find the edit tool helpful. We'll go down the list and I'll explain what each one of them does. And this is where we're gonna start talking about points and anchor points. These are the most powerful tools in all of Paint Tool Sci, in my opinion, and they give you complete freedom when it comes to creating and editing line art. When you hold control, you'll see points all along your line. And if you mouse over it, this will reveal a blue line connecting all the points along the line you've drawn. This is called the path. First on the list, to move a point, hold control. 
If we hold control and select one of our points that appears, we can drag it anywhere we want. And due to this being a vector line, our line art will never get pixelated or blurry. Holding control and selecting the path between the points will create a new point. So never again will you have to redraw the same line five times to get it just right. You can just move it into place. Next on the list under the edit tool is delete. To remove or delete a point, simply hold alt and select the point you want to get rid of. I use this to get rid of the tapered ends of the lines where I don't want them. And if you create a new point with control and decide you don't like it, you can just get rid of it. Now to warp the entire line instead of just a single points, you want to hold shift. You may notice that most of the points on our line are green while the ones at the end are orange. The orange points are anchor points and will not move from their spot. They'll always stay in the same place unless you move them specifically. The orange anchor points don't always have to be at the end of our line though. We can create new anchor points wherever we want with the deform anchor feature. Holding shift and alt together and clicking any green point turns it into an orange anchor point. You can change it back to a regular point by performing the same action. To simply move the entire line without warping it, hold shift and alt and select between the points on the path. We can also do this with the move tool or the transform tool, but it's helpful if you want to move one specific line instead of all of them. Another one of my favorite features is duplicate path. By holding control and shift and selecting the path, we can duplicate any line we've created. If you want to delete a line, holding control, shift, and alt together allows us to just remove the whole thing. But the most helpful, in my opinion, is the connect feature. Holding control and shift and dragging from a point on one line to a point on a separate line allows us to connect the two lines and create one. I use this feature constantly, every time I do line art. And finally, we have the pointed and rounded feature. You don't have to choose between the curve tool and the line tool. We can have both. Holding control and alt and clicking a point will allow us to make a curve sharp or make an angle round. Be aware though, this hotkey is also the hotkey for changing the brush size. This can easily be changed though, like any hotkey, under the help tab in the shortcut keys menu. Now that we've gone over all the basic edit tool features, here are some extra tips that the edit tool doesn't cover. You can select a point or multiple points at once by holding control. When you hold control, click and drag your mouse over the points you wanna select. They will appear in red when they're selected. You can deselect the points by holding control and right clicking your mouse anywhere on the canvas. The transform tool also works on vector lines. Having points selected will allow you to transform only those points instead of the whole piece, which is super helpful. You can also cut and paste vector lines. Select a point on the line you want to cut, cut it with control X, paste it with control V, and this will create a new line work layer with only the line you selected on it. Now that we know the basics of line work layers and how the lines work, I'm just going to do some line art real quick and just demonstrate how I work all these hotkeys into my workflow. Thank you. 